up next we will be getting our sea snails so to get sea snails we need to evolve the flatworm into our slugs which i've already shown you they needed to be eating these low complex leaves and so we'll just make that happen all right so we can see that we've got our slugs now so now i've got my low simple leaves around my new home that i made for my slugs i've killed off the flatworms just for the sake of this video and so then we just have to wait now for our slugs to eat enough of these low, simple plants to turn into our sea snails. So I will speed up the time. I'll cut out the amount of time it takes here, and we will see our new sea snails in just a little bit. All right, we've got our next generation. And so again, we can take a look and just see if we're on the right track. And yes, it does look like compared to our first generation, we're starting to form this shell in the back here. So we just need to continue to let this run for a bit, and we should have our sea snails. All right, we have done it. We've got our sea snails. Let's go take a look at them in our Eddie Gene. We'll pick one for our thumbnail. But there you go. You get your slugs from the low complex leaves. Flatworms eating these will get you slugs. Make a new home for your slugs to eat the low simple leaves and they will eventually turn into these sea snails. All right, we've got two more tier two animals to go. I'll see you in the next tutorial.